Apple's cheap iPhone may be called the iPhone 9. I have leaks and rumors to share with you that cover everything we know so far about the new phone. Lots of people absolutely love the iPhone SE for its small size and low price. And by low, I mean low in relation to other iPhones. Apple's gearing up to release a spiritual successor to this phone, but it probably won't be called the iPhone SE 2. Instead, reports point towards iPhone 9, filling a gap in the naming lineup we've had ever since 2017, when the company skipped straight from iPhone 8 to iPhone 10. Check out the previous Apple Core video in the description if you want to find out why Apple needs a cheaper phone. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. The headline rumors are that the iPhone 9 will look pretty much the same as the iPhone 8. So a home button that also powers Touch ID, a 4.7 inch LCD screen, and inside it'll get an updated A13 Bionic chip. That's the same one that's on the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. This video render from OnLeaks shows a frosted glass back and a scented Apple logo to bring it in line with the design cues from 2019 iPhones. But here's a curveball. This week, 9to5Mac cited a report from Japanese site Makutakara that seems to say that Apple might also be developing a refreshed iPhone 8 sized model with a 5.4 inch size screen and Face ID. Now this would likely exist alongside the iPhone 9 that I just mentioned. This all came from Apple suppliers who were at CES 2020 who supposedly spilled the beans. So why should we believe this particular rumor? Last year, they correctly predicted that Apple was working on an updated seventh generation iPod Touch thanks to Apple suppliers at CES. What's likely is that this mystery 5.4 inch model is actually one of the four iPhones we're expecting to see in the fall of 2020 when Apple refreshes its flagship line. The rumors are pointing to a 5.4 inch, two 6.1 inch phones and a 6.7 inch. Now let's talk cameras. The iPhone 9 isn't expected to stray far from the iPhone 8, so that means a single f1.8 lens at the back, likely at a 12 megapixel resolution. As for portrait mode, well, we know it's technically possible for Apple with a single lens, thanks to the iPhone XR, but we haven't heard anything specific about the software side of the camera just yet. As for all the other features, well, don't expect 3D touch on the iPhone 9 because Apple's pretty much killed that off. You'll also be guaranteed iOS updates for a few more years. So this phone is definitely targeting those people who are upgrading from something like the iPhone 6. There will likely be a red color option as well. And storage wise, it's no surprise that a 64 or 128 gigabyte variant will be your options. And three gigabytes of RAM should be more than enough grunt for most tasks. And it's only one gigabyte less than what the iPhone 11 runs off. Most importantly though, how much will it cost? Reliable Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo has said the iPhone 9 will start at 399 US dollars for the base storage option. And the all important release date. Spring 2020 is when Apple is expected to announce the iPhone 9 and that event could be as soon as March. Apple has held an event every March for the past few years with the exception of 2017. So last year we got the announcement of Apple TV Plus and the Apple Card. The year before was a cheaper iPad targeted towards schools and 2016 was the original iPhone SE. So if you're placing bets, I'd say we're due for a hardware release in spring 2020 if that hits History is anything to go by. Time to recap some of the other big Apple news and rumors this week. Apple has been called out this week by Attorney General William Barr for not giving, quote, substantive help in unlocking two iPhones belonging to the gunman at a shooting at a Florida Navy base last year. The company said it did provide iCloud backups, account information, and transactional data in response to initial requests. President Trump has also tweeted and called on Apple to, quote, step up to the plate. A 13-inch MacBook Pro with scissor keyboard might be coming soon, according to an Apple filing with the EEC. Stay tuned. And would you believe 13 years ago, Steve Jobs announced the original iPhone at the now defunct Macworld in San Francisco, surprising the tech world while everyone was at CES. As always, make sure to leave me your comments on the iPhone 9 and if this $400 phone is the one you're waiting for. And make sure to come back next week for more Apple Core.